Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your January 15th through January 21st weekly tarot reading. We're going to start it out with a general reading. We're going to end it with love, I hope. Um, now this is the Ask Angels uh, deck and what I need you to do is just ask a question, any question. And this, these cards will hopefully give you the answer you're looking for, but they are answers, okay? So go ahead and ask your question, and at the end, this card will be revealed. All right, so we're going to move right on to your reading. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with you. Just take what does and leave the rest. You may be feeling really confident this week, uh, focused on your career, very, very focused. You may have visions of a brighter future. You may be thinking of new ways to step it up a notch in your job, or you may be even thinking about starting your own business. Uh, you may be thinking of uh, new routes to take, you know, ways to increase your um, success. It's a creative time, put it that way, where you're using your creativity to create something better. It's also a lot of passion, okay? There is some uh, passion at the beginning of the week, passion for something. Mm. You know, and, and you have to make a decision, all right? You definitely have to make some kind of decision that... You know, it's a big one. You have to make a big decision that you have to realize the consequences of this decision. Could could be between two people or it could be between even one. I mean, maybe somebody new is coming into your life and you're not so sure about it. You're not sure if they're being honest with you. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, a Libra, or a Gemini, Okay. It feels like you, it definitely is decision making time this week. You need to make the decision. And I think that your intuition is giving you the answer, okay? It's like either it's trying to tell you something. Somebody may be trying to keep a secret from you, but it's not working out, all right? Um, because you, you can see, you can see the truth. You can see the truth of this. Um, It looks, it appears that there could be some new partnership on the horizon, but you're, you're very skeptical, very skeptical if this is too good to be true, perhaps. Yeah, see, somebody is, you You know the truth. You know the truth. You're looking for the truth, but it feels like somebody's being dishonest here. They're not telling the truth, and you know it. Um, it's maybe they're pushing you. Maybe they're trying to step outside of their boundaries or something. You know, they're trying to step outside of the boundary line, okay? There, there's some, there's too much passion, perhaps, you know, it's like, this really seems too good to be true. Now, I'm trying to make this into a general reading, but you are, you're, you're wanting to let your guard down, but you can't let your guard down. Now, this can be at work or in a love relationship, but I can see that you're stressed over this decision that you have to make because it's a big one. It's a really big one. It's it, and, you, and the power is in your hands. It's like you're in control. And that's kind of scary. It's like, oh, no, I really have to make this decision. You know, is this person being dishonest with me or not? And I really have to do the right thing for me. But it feels like there's other people involved here with your decision. It's like somebody has been sneaky and you know it. You know it. Somebody has been sneaky and you know it. And so it's like, damn, damn, was this just a mistake? You know, were they maybe were they really being sneaky or what or was this a mistake? Was this just a simple mistake that this person made? You know, should I forgive them? It looks like something came out. I think a secret came out. The truth came out. All right. Whatever this applies to in your life, some kind of truth has come out. And now you're like, oh, shit. You know, I this I knew it. I knew it. I knew this was too good to be true. 
it feels as though um, somebody, there's been some kind of communication that came through that was disheartening and now you feel betrayed perhaps somebody got caught some whether it's you or another person somebody has gotten caught in the act and it's caused a lot of uh heaviness you know it's like oh man this was this that was big whatever it was there's there's a loss here it's like i think somebody has some regrets i'm not sure if it's you it probably is you probably regret trusting this person whoever it was you're regretting trusting them but you still have you still have a decision to make whether you want to walk away or you want to stay you're trying to decide whether this was just a simple mistake or if it was orchestrated you know um it feels like you have a strong head on your shoulders okay you're very intuitive you know exactly what's going on and you're trying to create balance in your life and something has happened to cause havoc all right um this could be at work, okay? There could be some people that are against you in some way and you're just sick of fighting with them. Could be in a different area of your life, but it feels like you have, they have stepped over the line. Somebody has stepped over the line and now it's time for you to decide, do you want to cut this person out of your life or do you not? And I think that this week, you know, you're on top of it. You're on top of it. You're, it's like you, you're shining, you're glowing, you're feeling very confident in your decisions and who you are. I see a lot of wisdom, okay, with these two cards. There's a lot of wisdom here. It's like you're, you know exactly what's going on and your intuition is telling you to do something. So whoever this is for, your intuition is telling you to speak up regarding this situation, to speak your truth, release something that's heavy because there's something heavy. There's like a, a heaviness here that's causing a lot of stress. Some secret came out. Somebody got caught and now they're having regrets whether that's you or another person it's like oh my god you know there's a lot of regret here and i think it's regrets because i think perhaps you maybe there was um impulsiveness maybe somebody acted impulsively and that could be you in a situation and now you're regretting it We're going to move on to the love portion, although I think this was, a, for a lot of people, that was about a relationship. Um, yeah. Now there's confusion. Yeah, there's confusion about a choice that you need to make. You don't know what to do, whether you're coming or going. It's like, oh, shit, that was heavy. That was heavy. And it feels like now you have so much disappointment about what just happened that you don't know what to do. It's like, oh, my God, should I really let this cycle end or not? I see a lot of fear here. It feels like... Um, there was a lack of confidence at one point. You know, there was a lack of confidence and there was impulsive behavior. Somebody acted impulsively in this situation and now they're having regrets about it. They're really disappointed with the actual outcome. Perhaps that they didn't get the the um, offer that they were thinking they were going to get. You know, they acted impulsively, impulsively, maybe, you know, did something against their better judgment. And now it's like, oh, no, because the, you didn't, the offer didn't come through. You know, there was some kind of fallout and it's like, oh, shit, you know, I made the wrong decision. And now it's time to realize that you still have other options. There still are, you know, it's time to make this decision. Do you really cut this person out for good or not? You know, you have to make a choice. It is decision-making time. Absolutely. It's like it's no longer an illusion. The truth has come out. 
okay, somebody was dishonest. They led you on to a point where you thought that they, it was too good to be true. Okay, you thought that it, it really was too good to be true, you know, and now you're, you have this disappointment here like, oh my God, did I just mess up everything by doing this, you know, because they, they were only in it. It looks, I mean, perhaps just for carnal desires, you know, somebody acted impulsively and now they are not getting what they thought they were going to get, okay? And now you're in a period, you're in a state of confusion. Oh God, you know, that kind of thing. Um, a secret was definitely revealed. Not a, it's not really a secret. It's something you knew anyway, but you somebody acted impulsively. It's like they knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was going to happen. And now it's come full circle. Okay, now it's come full circle and it's like the shit has hit the fan. Okay, something like that. It's like it's no longer a mystery. Now you know the truth. The truth has come out. This Whoever you were dealing with wasn't being honest. They led you down the wrong road and now you have to decide whether to, to truly cut them out of your lives or to give them a second chance. Yeah, it was carnal desires. It absolutely was. There was some sexual energy here. It's like somebody just wanted to, you know, get down and dirty. And I don't know if that this this isn't going to be for every single person, okay? And now it hasn't turned out the way that you'd hoped, and it was like lust, okay? And now you're thinking about shit, shit. Now I've I've already given myself to this person, and. Now I have ties to them, and it was all a lie. Okay, it was all a lie, and you're just—I see a lot of disappointment here, a lot of disappointment where things just didn't turn out the way that you had hoped. Yeah, unhappiness, very unhappy. It's like, oh no, I made the wrong decision. <coughs> but like I said, it's beginning with that lovers card. Doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that there isn't somebody else for you. It just means that you've made a mistake and all you can do is learn from it. Okay? No need to um no need to worry because you will be happy again, all right? Um it's just time to really really cut the cord. If you were wondering if you should give this person a second chance or if you should keep trying with this person, I am here to say no that it was absolutely just sexual or, you know, that kind of attraction. And I don't see any love with this person. I feel like, you know, they may have promised you the world and gave you uh, something else. Definitely not the world. Um, they really didn't give anything. Okay. They really weren't planning on giving anything. And that makes you very unhappy. So if this ha isn't, if this, ha if I can even talk, if this ha hasn't happened yet, be prepared, be ready when it's decision making time. Try not to be impulsive at all. I see impulsive behavior. Really think about the consequences of your decisions, okay? Think twice before you let anybody in. Okay, really think twice because I, I see that somebody is not telling the truth or they didn't tell the truth. And in the end, you will be very, very disappointed. Let's see if I can get some romance here with these romance angel cards. <laughs> this could be the one, of course. Of course that card would come out. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. But the fact of the matter is, it's not the person that did you wrong, okay? Somebody has done somebody wrong. And it was, and because you're waiting for this one, if you're single, okay? If you're waiting for this one, that's how come people act impulsively. Because they're waiting. They're waiting, okay? And they want this to be the one. They want this to be the one, so they act impulsively without thinking, Okay, but this card is out here to say that you have met the romantic partner you seek. But with the lover's card, it's not who you think it is. 
okay? It's not who you think it is. There's always an illusion, okay? This is an illusion as well, and this is an illusion. It's, I feel like many of you have were thinking that somebody else was the one when the fact of the matter is it's not, it's somebody else, okay? Because that's what the lover's card is. The lover's card says that it's not who you think it is, okay? Yeah. It's coming. This person is around the corner. Okay, they're coming. But you have to make the right decision right now. Okay, this is what this tells me. It's like you're in a place of imbalance. It's like you have just been used. That's what I see, okay? It's like you've just been used by somebody that you were hoping was the one. And you acted impulsively. And now it's like, oh shit, syndrome. And you really have to make this decision to cut this person out of your life so that the right one will come very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Be sure that you are thinking clearly. And always, always, always follow your intuition okay clearly this is a big card right here it's decision making time clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now clearly don't be impulsive wait for the right one do not act on lust okay is it lust or is it love that is the question Ask yourself that with every person, if you're single, that comes into your life. Is this just lust or could it be love? Could this turn into love? The world. Okay, so this card tells me that you may be communicating with people from the web, you know, online. You may be meeting up with people that you're meeting online and... You know, they're promising you the world. You really have to be careful with this. You really have to be careful with this because you don't know them. All right? This also comes out when you have reached a period of time when you are going through major changes, major new beginnings. It's You really need to take the steps and take the time to, to go through these steps you know it takes time okay to complete a cycle when the world card comes out it is the completion of a cycle in your life and it doesn't happen overnight it's also about a lesson okay the word the world card comes out in a reading it means there was a lesson to be learned and i think in this uh reading this lesson has to do with impulsiveness okay you really and and we're in determining lust via love you know is it lust or is it love because these are both very lusty cards along with the devil card you know is it lust or is it love you know you really need to determine that before you um jump in per se okay so just really really take your time let things end let new beginnings happen and let them um stand the test of time okay it takes time to get to know somebody and when you're dealing with somebody online um, realize that you don't know this person you really don't what's behind that computer screen is not the real deal it's time to get your life back on track one step at a time okay one step at a time Clearly decide what you want, and, and it will come to you. But you need to have patience, and you need to have boundaries, okay? There was lack of boundaries here. Somebody stepped over the line, and now you there's a, a feeling of huge disappointment. So in the future, let anything relationship rise stand the test of time before you jump let's get to your question you ready do you have your question you remember at the beginning of the reading when I asked you to ask a question you have it do you remember it you ready for the answer ready Set. Go. 
Ooh, meditation brings answers. Remember when I told you that your intuition is telling you at the beginning of the reading? Listen. Listen to your inner guide. And if you're having a hard time with that, all you have to do is meditate. And if you don't know how to meditate, it's really, really easy. It's called quieting your mind. Okay, breathe. Concentrate, concentrate on your breathing. Okay, that's all you got to do. Concentrate on your breathing. Think about your breathing. And as you think about your breathing, your mind will clear. Okay? The answers to your questions are within you. That's what this card says. You've been getting the answers. You haven't been listening. That's the problem. If your intuition tells you that this is too good to be true, then it is. Slow down. Take your time. Let things unfold. Clearly set boundaries. And everything else will fall into place. Remember, and I don't know who this is for, somebody is dealing with people online. You know, somebody is doing the online dating thing. And there's a lot of uh, feeling of illusion here. Remember, whoever you're talking to behind that screen is not who they say they are. And you know what I see now? I see that you've already met the part, romantic partner you seek. Perhaps this person is not really through the computer screen. If you're single and you're looking for somebody, perhaps the one that you are meant to be with is somebody that you actually know, period. Know, have met before, in person. Okay. Take the time to listen to your inner guide, Virgo. If you know it's not right, don't 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 do it. And you will know it's not right because your gut will tell you. Talk to you later.